got? Let's start with the September call-ups. Uh, Colton Wong, you guys signed him at the beginning of August. How does he fit into the rest of the regular season? Well, um, obviously we had an opportunity uh, with, with uh, adding a player, a position player. And I think for us, Colton just adds versatility. Uh, played some short, uh, but he's, uh, he's gold glove caliber, second base. Left-handed bat off the bench. Um, come in for defense, pinch hit. So just got, give us another option. How much of his experience in October is intriguing to you guys? It is intriguing. Um, I, I think that obviously, uh, you know, he's been around. Um, we can trust that he can conduct at bats. Our guys um, cleaned up some things with the swing. So I feel that uh, he's more back to the player that he was uh, years ago or a couple years ago, not too long ago. Um, and just the experience that he has makes him an interesting player. You need a starter for tomorrow. Emmett Sheehan has some pitch since August 26th. Feels like the stars might be aligned. Yeah, you know, I, I think that uh, barring something really, uh, something unforeseen, I can, you know, I can see uh, Emmett taking down the star tomorrow. Do you feel like he may, he may be able to be part of the rotation in some form or fashion the rest of the month, or is there still somewhat of a rotation to manage the load for everybody? I, I think that's uh, it's possible. Uh, I think right now it's just it's a start to start situation. So uh, he'll pitch a lot tomorrow, most likely as a starter, and we'll see where it goes. Considering some of the lumps and some of the young arms have sort of taken this year, how much better do you sort of feel about those guys? I grew Pepio, Stone, Miller, and now she, and then you did maybe in June when they were kind of being thrown out there. Uh, we feel great. We feel great um, about each of them. Um, I think that. You know, the hope is that you can protect them, they can come up, cut their teeth, and have success, but that's just not always the way it goes. But uh, each guy um, has got kicked in the teeth and responded well. So uh, uh, really uh, proud and excited to see, you know, obviously Bobby leading the charge right there, but the way Gavin threw in, in Boston and to see what, uh, you know, Michael did from last year and to see Emmett come back and do what he's doing. So it's been really good to see. What did you find out about your team last night coming back after being down so much so early? Do you feel like that's kind of uh, been the uh, one of the staples as far as resiliency? It, it is. So uh, to your question, I didn't find out anything that uh, I didn't know before. Um, this is a team that's going to play 27 outs, play nine innings. And uh, we did that last night where uh, we could have mailed it in and we didn't. And we ended up bringing in uh, Iglesias, and that was his third day in a row. So uh, we feel good about that, and we had a chance to win the baseball game. So, you know, always uh, tough losing a ball game, but that was still a fun game to be a part of. Martinez ready for a rehab? JD is, uh, yeah. Uh, he's, uh, I think he's heading to Sugarland this weekend. Um, so that he's going to play with the OKC team, and I think it's going to be on Sunday. I think that's the day. So tomorrow uh, might be like a, a simulated game or something like that. I'm not sure. Here or in Rancho or something like that. So I know this weekend he's on his way to AAA. Just a couple games? Um, it'll be a couple games, and I think the expectation, if it goes well, uh, we'll see him in D.C. Did you get a chance to see Joe Kelly? Did he throw a bullpen today? I did. Joe... Uh, I think throws through somewhere uh, in the 20 pitch range, use all of his pitches, touch 96, 7, I think. Um, it was really good. Command, really good. Um, I think he's going to do a, uh, I don't know the next step. I'll comment on that tomorrow, but it was good today. Um, I'm assuming yes. Uh, I haven't heard, though. Yeah.